Uh, good morning, we're here at BIOS Photonics West 2014. My name's Alex Rosovich. I'm the CTO with uh, EM4, which is part of Guchen House School. I'm going to talk to you this morning about the EM750 narrow line width laser. Okay, so uh, the EM750 uh, starts with a DFB laser. So we have here a standard 14 pin DFB laser that can be anywhere on the ITU grid, anywhere around 15, 50 nanometers. If we take this standard 1550 nanometer uh, DFB laser and incorporate it with drive electronics, and here we see uh, the kind of uh, electronics that it sits in. These are low noise drive electronics that uh, form the EM650. This is a standalone product uh, with an, a line width typically in the two to 300 kilohertz range. What we can then do is take this device, add on to it, uh, a fiber uh, splitter and create a configuration that looks like this. It's rather a surprising configuration. Uh, it, uh, what we then have is a DFB uh, going through a fiber splitter. One leg of that fiber splitter allows a small amount of reflection back into the DFB laser, something of the order of 40 or 50 dB down. Uh, uh, the other leg is the output leg going through uh, an isolator. Uh, it's a 55 dB isolator. So basically we have a cavity that is providing feedback back into the DFB laser. That feedback is sufficient to lock the face of the laser. And by so doing, uh, we can uh, uh, reduce the line width. Here we're showing an unlocked laser. This would be the EM650 free running, about 220 kilohertz. Now we lock it using the mechanism I just described. And with that locking, we then get down to approximately 2.2 kilohertz. Uh, more visually, we can see the unlocked laser, uh, laser on the top going down to the locked narrow line width below. So this new EM750 narrow line width laser uh, falls into the parameter space of other narrow line width lasers, like fiber lasers, external cavity lasers, and can be used in many of the same applications. Those are sensing, for example, uh, acoustic sensors for oil and gas, or acoustic sensors for seismology, or uh, monitoring of bridges, can also be used in uh, uh, FM communication uh, uh, for uh, telecommunications. So there are a number of uh, applications uh, in a broad space, and this is a cost-effective solution for many of those applications.